Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Good morning to all. Um, I am Jayanti, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Today we are going to see the uh, topic on association rule mining. The blueprint cover this topic or the patent discovery, basic concepts of association rules, uh, frequent item set pattern generation using a prior algorithm and the bottleneck problem of your a prior algorithm. So we all know if you go for the supermarket, uh, we will have the transaction what we are purchased for that we will build okay so that scenario is called as market basket transaction okay so uh, this is the outline of what the product we are purchased okay it may be a customer one customer two customer three customer four customer five customer six and so on uh, we are going to find how this customer one pattern of purchasing the item is going to relate with the customer too and there will be a question why it is needed right uh, the needed is to improve the productivity to increase the customer satisfaction uh, to increase the profit profit of the business okay these are the major goal right but what the question is how we are going to relate because these are unique particles of the each customer the answer to this question is we are going to apply a association rule mining system. What is association mining? Okay, the term itself shows that how we are going to relate a set of item or a item with another items. So we can able to analyze what are the items are frequently used or purchased and what type of relationship they have, how one item is dependent on the another item or how one object is dependent on the another object and what is the uh, casual structures among the objects, these all, right. Uh, we can obtain from your transactional database, relational database or any other kind of uh, uh, database. So the application where it will be needed mostly in the credit card analysis, market basket analysis, uh, catalog designs and cross marketing uh, and in medical DNA analysis and uh, recommending the proteins with RNA or DNA sequence. So most of the things, the main uh, how we are going to relate with the help of uh, association mining. So this is a scenario, uh, see here these are the transactions are done in your supermarket by a set of period with a set of peoples okay so we are going to find how the bread is related to milk how bread is related to milk soda is related to gyps bread is related to jam right uh, so how we are going to predict these can be applied by using the concept is called as association mining before getting into the association mining we should clear about the some terms of uh, uh, items in your uh, association mi mining frequent item set okay before getting into that what is the item set the item set is nothing but the collection of individual items or object in any database is called as a item set so the example the bread peanut milk fruit jam these are called as item set support count the support count is nothing but frequency of occurrence of an item set in an database. Uh, for example, if you take a bread, so uh, if, a bre if bread has taken as a in single unit, uh, the support count is 1, in transactional 1, it has 1 time, in transactional 2, 1, in uh, transactional 3, 3, 3 times and at 4 we do not have, 5 we have 4 uh, bread, so 4 and uh, the last, so the bread okay the support count of bread is 4 okay for example if you are searching for 2 to items for example uh, milk and bread in transaction 1 there is a presence in transaction 2 there is a presence and um, in transaction 5 there is a presence so it is a 3 it is nothing but a total count of number of times occurrence of the product that is called as the item uh, support count what is the support uh, it is nothing but a fraction of number of times the product occurred divided by the total number of transaction for example the milk and bread occur together in three transaction out of 
8 uh, transaction. So, it is 3 by 8. Similarly, soda and chips in total transaction 4 times it has been occurred out of 8. So, it is 4 by 8. The frequent item set is nothing but the item set. Okay, maybe a frequent item or a frequent item set which has been occurred more than the minimum threshold value, right. For example, in uh, for everything, uh, for pass percentage, we have the minimum percentage as a threshold as a 50 mark. Uh, for passing a concession, we have 45 percentage. So, it is a minimum threshold value, a comparing value. If any frequent item set, the occurrence is greater than the minimum support count, then it is called as the frequent item set. So, the association rules, uh, the implication form, the x implies y. The association uh, rule is represented as x implies y. Uh, that is, bread implies milk. Uh, the evaluation matrix, okay. In uh, association rule, we have two evaluation matrix. One is a support, another one is a confidence. As I told that, the support is nothing but uh, it is a fraction of uh, total number of occurrence by total number of transactions and uh, that is it shows um, actual occurrence of both the item set, the actual occurrence of item set. The confident is it shows how often the y, the element y is appearance together with x. So, how it will be predicted? Uh, the total occurrence of any two product divided by the uh, the implication product of uh, one product okay for example if you take bread and milk the total count divided by how many times the bread is occurred in the total number of transaction so what is the goal of this okay the goal of this is uh, the first thing is whether the item the item set can be taken for association mining rule or not. We are able to produce the production or not. And second one is we have to find whether it satisfies the condition of support is greater than the minimum threshold, confidence is greater than the minimum threshold. And um, it is a brute force approach. Uh, first, we will list all the association rules. Next, we will find the support and confidence for the each rule. And if it is not satisfied, the support and confidence minimum threshold is not satisfied by the any item set that will be removed from the productions. So, it is little bit costly, but it is very effective. So, the frequent item sets, it is nothing but uh, a set of items or uh, that is a set of items or a pattern or it can give as a subsequence, it can be called as a substructures which is occurred together more than the minimum support, it is called as the uh, frequent pattern. It was first proposed by the Agarwal, Limsky and Swami in the context of uh, uh, frequent item set and association rule mining. Okay. So, what is the uh, idea behind this association rule is how we are going to identify the hiding and inherited product, how we are going to identify the hiding and inherited patterns from the large transactional database. Uh, for example, uh, if uh, ice cream is purchased, how frequency the tissue paper have been purchased? Uh, how, what the product, if you are buying the PC, what the subsequent product you will be buying, okay. And then uh, if it is uh, using a new drug, okay, how your uh, DNA is very sensitive. So, these type of uh, relations have been uh, occupied, okay, or obtained from this uh, uh, frequent ma pattern mining system or association mining systems. Um, the applications are basket data analysis, cross marketing, catalog design, sales uh, analysis, web block analysis and DNA sequence. It also does a very miracle thing in your uh, medical analysis also. So, the name is given for the frequent pattern mining uh, is uh, association, correlation and causality analysis, uh, then uh, classification, clustering, data warehousing, semantic data compression and broad applications, uh, mainly for the transactional database. Mostly the area will be uh, dependent on the transactional database. So, the frequent pattern as I told that uh, there will be a item set, first we have to find the item set, then we have to uh, construct the uh, number of occurrence of support and number of occurrence of confidence. Uh, we have to evaluate with two metrics, supports and confidence. This is the basic rule as to be followed by the frequent pattern 
mining. So normally uh, there will be a frequent uh, pattern mining algorithms uh, will be a three type. One is uh, pattern mining or association rule generation with candidate generation which is called as the a priori algorithm and without candidate generation which is called as the FB growth and the third part is called as vertical data format approach. Today we are going to see only the a priori algorithm. So the first principle of uh, a prior algorithm is uh, uh, first we have to set uh, all the items are frequently purchased that is the first principle of your candidate generation. Uh, so what is the method the steps covers in the method are first we have to scan the database it is a level wise uh, approach the first level each, item, each item set will be considered as single item. In second level, 2-2 two, two item. In third level, it is a 3-3 three, three item. It is a level wise approach. Uh, then we have to check with the each uh, candidate against your minimum threshold value. And then if it is satisfied, then we will move to the next step by using a joining method or we will if it is not satisfy the minimum support code we will eliminate from the uh, transactional database. So let us consider uh, this is one problem of scenario uh, which has a support count is equal to 2 minimum support count is equal to 2 and we have the transactional database as uh, ideas 10, 20, 30, 40 and each has the set of items okay. So I have said to you uh, it is a candidate generation. Uh, this is algorithm which is used with the help of candidate gener generation algorithm. First, we have to find the uh, scan the database. First, we have to scan the database. So, as I told that it is a level wise approach. In level 1, every item will be a single item. So, what are the possibility of items here? A, B, C, E. Okay, so everything is listed as a item set and along with the support, the support is nothing but number of times the component or item is appeared in a transactional database. For example, A is occurred for two times, B is occurred for three times, C is occurred for three times, D is occurred for one and uh, the E is occurred for three. Okay, in next step what we have to do is we have to compare this minimum support of uh, each support count with minimum support count of each items. Okay, for example the A is 2 which has to be compared with minimum support count is equal to 2. So actually uh, what is the rule? The support count should be greater than or equal to minimum support count the condition satisfied. So it will be taken as a first J set. Okay, it is joined in the first set, A is will be accepted and next is taken as a B, B is 3 which is greater than or equal to minimum support count, it is added to the count and uh, C uh, which is a 3, support count is 3 which is greater than the minimum support, so it is added to the uh, count and the D, the support count is 1 which is less than the minimum support count, so we are pruned from the database, we are removed from the database and the last E which is greater than the minimum support count. So we have taken the 3. This is the first level. If the item, one one item is purchased, uh, the frequent item will be a A, B, C, E in a given transactional database. Okay. So it will be moved to the second level. In second level, all the combination has to be produced and it will be taken as a 2, 2. As a level 2, we have to co combine 2, 2 product. So A comma B, um, a comma C, A comma E, B comma C, B comma E and C comma E and uh, then E comma E is not possible because it is a single element. Uh, so uh, this has to be taken and uh, each support count has been listed as we seen that uh, the support count for all other products are 1. So we removed, we have taken which is the support count is called as uh, see here A, B, A, C, A, E, B, C, B, E, C, E. And A, B and A, E is ruled out. Okay, A, B and A, E is ruled out because the minimum support count should be greater than, okay, or equal to 2. So, it is ruled out. So, we have taken only A, C, B, C, B, E, C, E is whose support count is 2, 2, 3, 2. So, this is the second level, okay. In, if the items 2, 2 purchased, what is the possibilities of items are purchased or A, C, B, C, B, E and C, E. And uh, go for the next level um, that is third level where 3-3 three, three elements are combined. So what are the possibility? 
ABC, BCE. These are only two elements are possible. In ABC, the support count is uh, 1, so it is removed. BCE, uh, it is a 2, so it is accepted. So, we are trying for the fourth level, but it is not possible. So, the algorithm halt here, okay. So, uh, this is what we are going to find. This is the way we are going to find the frequent item set using the a prior algorithm. So, here two things has to be very clear. So, joining and pruning, okay. The joining will elaborate your level. The pruning will remove the um, elements which is not satisfying the minimum support count. So, it is a pseudocode for the prior algorithm. The input will be a uh, candidate data item set of uh, K and uh, that is level of hydration. LK is nothing but the frequent item set of K, L1, L2, L3. We have as we have seen in the previous example. So, first we have taken the first level. So, we have to do a frequent item set by comparing the first generating the candidate set and then comparing with the database and then comparing with the minimum support count. Okay. And if it is so, all the element has been uh, Traced, then we have to go back to the level 2 by applying a joining operation return UK LK. Okay. So, the result has to be joined with previous uh, hydration. So, second level has to be repeated. This process will be repeated until there is no more joining operation can be performed. So, how to generate the candidate set by using a joining and pruning. And uh, the joining is nothing but adding the elements that is uh, L3 uh, into L3 uh, to produce C4, L2 into L2 to produce C3, L1 into L1 to produce C2. So, this is called as uh, joining operation, pruning if the given uh, frequent item set is not satisfied your minimum support count that has to be eliminated that is called as the pruning step. So, what is the problem in the prior algorithm is it is a beautiful and wonderful algorithm for finding a frequent item set. But the problem is uh, uh, generating a frequent uh, set will be high more than the number of elements. For example, for 10 to the power of frequent item set, we will generate the candidate set as 10 to the power of 7. So, Obviously, it is a two times greater than the original product. Okay, for example, to uh, frequent pattern size of hundred means we have to prove we have to generate two to the power of hundred, which is uh, approximately equal to ten to the power of thirty. So that is uh, the generation of candidate set is the huge problem and more expensive in the uh, prior algorithms. And uh, as the candidate set increases. Uh, the scanning of your data set for the each uh, candidate set will also increase. So, it is a uh, little bit expensive and it take a more computational cost. Thank you. I hope you have understand what is meant by a frequent pattern analysis. Thank you.